Hi, kids. I'm Oliver the Owl, and I'm here to tell you a Bible story. Look at me. I'm an owl. Whee! Flying around, flying around. My head can turn in a circle. Look at me. Woo! Woo! Is it, is it weird? Should we not? Should we cut this? I just... Just don't, don't keep this one in here. Hi everyone, my name is Preston and I'm so glad that you're here today. We're talking about the book of Market Church, which is a book in the Bible. And today we're gonna to be talking about a story in chapter nine from the Bible in the book called Mark. Now before we hear about our Bible story, I have a question for you. What is the coolest thing you've ever seen? Maybe it was a super cool trick off a diving board. Or maybe it was a movie that you just love. Or maybe it was an animal that you got to see up close in real life. No matter what it is, we've all seen cool things before, right? Well, in our Bible story today, Jesus is going to show his disciples something really cool. Yeah, even cooler than any of us have ever seen. And why did Jesus show it to them? Because Jesus knew that it would help them have more faith. That it would help them believe when he would eventually go and die on the cross. And then... He would come back to life, but he needed to make sure the disciples believed. So let's check out our Bible story today and learn more about how faith in Jesus helps us to believe things that are unbelievable. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible, the transfiguration. This is Jesus, hey who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus took Peter, James, and John up a high mountain to pray. As Jesus was praying, he was transformed so that his face shined like the sun and his clothes became white as light. Suddenly, Moses and Elijah appeared and began talking with Jesus about how he would leave from this world. Peter didn't know what to say and they were all afraid. So he said, Um, excuse me? It's wonderful for us to be here. Let's make three shelters as memorials, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But as Peter was speaking, a bright cloud came over them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my dearly loved son, who brings me great joy. Listen to him. The disciples were terrified and fell face down on the ground. Jesus came over and touched them. He said, get up, don't be afraid. And when the disciples looked up, Moses and Elijah were gone. Come on guys. As they went back down the mountain, Jesus told them not to tell anyone what they saw until they saw that he was raised from the dead. Okay. So they kept it to themselves, but they often asked each other what he meant by rising from the dead. Wow, how cool was that? Jesus showed his disciples that he really is the son of God. He even showed them some of the greatest people in the Bible, Elijah and Moses. And then God said from heaven that Jesus is his son. So why did Jesus do this? Because Jesus wanted to show his disciples that he was really the son of God. And remember, our faith in Jesus helps us to believe things that are unbelievable. Even when it seems like something is just too hard to get past or if something bad seems like it will never end, remember that faith in Jesus helps us to believe things that are unbelievable. Our faith in Jesus helps us to believe things that are unbelievable. What a cool Bible story. I'm so excited to see you guys next week for Mark chapter 10. Bye guys.